Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I got something very interesting to show you guys because I'm going to show you how you can high leverage trade without having a liquidation price. Now this is something similar that the bigger traders and the institutional traders are doing and I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing in this video. So make sure to watch it till the end and if you like this content, please make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel as I'm almost at 500 subscribers. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. For those of you who are new to my channel, I want to mention that I do have a Discord server and when you join my Discord server, and I will leave a link to that in the description of this video, you will see that it's going to be two sections. I have a free and a paid section and when you join the lifetime membership, you will also get more than 20 indicators. And these aren't just any indicators, I've built these indicators so that they can be usable with our trading board, which you will always uh, also get access to and you get access to any future updates to the board and any other releases. So yesterday I also released a signals board and this works out automatically of one of our indicators and it will then notify you when you basically get a long or a short. So that is available on our free discord section part as well as I've set it up on a telegram channel for those of you who are more comfortable using telegram. But for any support I do recommend that you join the discord because I'm mostly active there. So right here you can actually see that uh, this trade that I took and I made over 300% on it. This was with the method that I was going to show you right now. So let's go over to my buy bit. And I also want to remind you guys that I'm not a financial advisor. So please do your own research as trading with leverage can be very risky. So on the top right of my buy bit chart you will see that my leverage is set on isolated margin and I have it on 10x leverage. So when I go and I want to open up a 10% uh, position size and I open up a long, you will see that my liquidation is now at 21,000. So I'm also using $400 to open this position. But because my leverage is set on isolated margin, it means that the amount that I'm using to open up my position is the only amount that I am able to lose in this current trade. So for this trade, I'm only risking $392. I can't lose more than that. But that means that I do have a liquidation price at 21,000 and I don't want my liquidation price that high because you can see that price is currently on 23,200. So there isn't really a big gap to play with uh, for this trade. So I'm going to click on cancel. So when I go to my leverage and I set that on cross. So I'm just going to set this on 25x and I'll click on firm. And now when I go to click on 10% and I click on open long. You will see my liquidation price is now at 13,800. Where previously were around 22,000, it is now at 13,000. But now you have to remember, since I'm using cross leverage, I'm using all of my USDT balance in my Bybit account. So I have around $3,900 that I'm going to be risking on this position. But 13,000 is still a reachable target and I want my liquidation price even lower. So. Now I'm going to go back to my, my order by quantity and I'm going to use a lower amount. So let's say I use 1.5 and I click on open. So now you can see my liquidation price is at 0.5 USDT. So this is similar stuff that the big traders and the institutional traders are doing because they have millions and millions of dollars to back their positions. So they don't really care if price falls down maybe 30% because they are still covered with all that margin. And you can do the same thing just on a smaller scale and this could prevent you from getting liquidated. And please only do this with longs as when you do it with shorts you're going to need a lot of money to actually cover your liquidation since there's no high that price can reach. We could see over a million dollars of a cryptocurrency price. It's not likely to happen but it is possible so that means you are exposing yourself to a liquidation price. As where Bitcoin will most likely not go to 0.5 USDT. So let me uh, open this position. As you can see right now, I have this trade open. My liquidation is at 0.5 and my position margin is at 143. And remember when I open this position on the top right, my cross leverage is set to 25x. So here on the left, you will see that it says 0.88 because that is I'm still at break even and that will change with uh, price basically. So don't really uh, focus on that. So the way you can use the strategy you can actually just wait for it to go into profit and you can take profit and wait for it to fall down and re-enter. So 
if you maybe enter a trade at around 30,000 and price falls down to around 20,000, then you might be stuck in a trade for a long while. But this is good if you're accumulating assets and you don't really care about sitting in front of the chart, just waiting for that smaller, you know, gaps and you're basically scalping. So this is more of a swing trading method. But you can also hedge on Bybit. So when you have hedge mode activated and you can see here on your settings, and uh, you will see that there's going to be position is H mode. I believe by default it is set to H mode. That means that you can open up a long and a short at the same time and you can profit on either one of them. So with this method, I don't have a liquidation price on my long. So this means I can still open up a short and also make profit on my short. Now I'm gonna show you something that will also remove your liquidation pride from your short position. So you see that I have position open on a long with the quantity of 0 0.150. So if I go and I set 0 0.15 again, and I open up a short this time, you will see that it now shows my liquidation price to be at 48,000. But when I actually go and open this position, you will see that my liquidation is set at 999,999. And the reason why I don't have a liquidation on my short as well, is because if a price goes up, and I basically lose money in my short position, I'm making the same money back in my long position. And if price goes down and my long goes into the red, I'm basically making that back in my short position. So this could also mean that if you want to scalp a long and you're already, let's say, let's say you entered a long at around 16, 70,000 and you don't really want to close that good of a position, but you still think we're hitting resistance, you know, when we're going upwards, you can scalp and take profits on your shorts as well. So this is just a simple way on how you can trade and profit from any market movements. If you want to try this trading method and you want to do it risk free, if you go to the description of this video, you will see that it's going to be this uh, crawl.com slash bybit link. Now if you sign up using my referral link, you can get a deposit bonus up to $4,000 and you can use that money to basically get, uh, test this trading style and the best part is you get to keep the profits. And you can also use that capital if you want to trade on our trading board. If you go to tradingboard.crawl.com, this is this website, uh, you can connect uh, those API keys to the board and you can automate your trades. So for the community, I'm currently building a pretty cool indicator and it has a back tester as well built into the front end and you can just automate all of these signals directly to the board. So right now I'm testing the new indicator and as you can see I already had my first uh, profit this morning. Uh, I have the sell position and that was around 11.45. Did you want to say uh, yeah, the bottom is at 11.40 but it was at the close of that candle. So 11.45 and it uh, you know quickly went down and uh, reached all four take profits. I only had an alert set at profit one and two. But as you can see on the overall this indicator is really killing it and uh, I'm really happy to release it probably around the, the end of the week to the community as I already have similar indicators to this and you can find them if you go to crawl.com slash explore. Also, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.